making about a half a mil. If I tried to hit the block, yo, these niggas are square. Look here, nigga, we coasting. Trying to stretch far like the ocean. Baby girl, what up? Check my potion. I meet a couple stars, drop a couple bars. They peeking through their windows, trying to watch the dawn. And we personify greatness. You ain't shit, kid. My words is a script, so why you hate this? You got a glass jaw, nigga, gotta break it. You ain't safe in my territory. Yeah, it's your boy Rusty, of course, represent Ready Rock Inc. Chillin' here on hiphopgossipsite.com, niggas. Log on. Yeah. Ready Rock Inc., it's your boy Rusty. Shout out my nigga Hungry. It's my nigga Fred Murder. What's poppin'? It's your boy DM, Fork in the building. You already know. Hey, free my nigga F2. Okay. So, so what it is, man? Well, what it is, I'm here with you. I wanna know what's going on with you. I know you got the new project, The Life and Times. Ready Rock Inc. Um, it's just out, but it ain't officially out yet. Okay. So we just leaked it to get the response or whatever, see what people think about it. And um, it's going to be on iTunes soon, you know, the whole digital, you know what I'm saying, distribution type of thing. You know? Okay. Now you have Far Rock City. Yeah, the Far Rock City project. That was basically just a um, little compilation thing we did as far as like Ready Rock and artists, you know what I'm saying, showcasing our talent or whatever. Shit, really. You know what okay. But so that's out there on iTunes too, you know? Okay, I just want to say to speak a little bit louder. Okay. Now, um, for Ready Rock, Ready Rock Inc., that's a group, right? Yeah, it's a group, and it's also like a label, too. Okay. It's Ready Rock Incorporated, but it's also a group. It's me, Russ D, we got Anf, and then we got Hungry. It's three members of the group, so. Okay, and how did y'all all come together to form this group? Um, actually, we started out with like seven members, you know what I'm saying? But as the, as the years went on, you know, it's hard to keep niggas together, so certain niggas, you know, they do what they want to do, we do what we want to do, and here we are today. Now, would you say that they lost focus, so to speak? Um, I mean, truthfully, I would say yeah. I would say yeah, I'm not holding no punches. No, yeah, they would. Okay. Now, I see you guys are, like, on the grind. I see you, your interviews with K. Slay, Forbes DVD, Shouts to Doggy Diamonds, and and also with Video City. And so y'all definitely getting your grinding. Can you just let the people know that's coming up, how important that grind is? That's like a major, major part major. of like your success right now. Cause it's like, if you ain't grinding, you ain't shining. If you don't grind, no success will come in your life. No Bird. blessing, no none of that. Your block, your block can't, can't, you know, can't make it for you. Yeah, you got to get out there, touch the people, touch people like this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Network. That's what we trying to do. Now, okay. how did you get to link up with all those different outlets to get the Ready Rock name known out there? Because people know the name. I mean, um, it was either like they hit us up or we hit them up or we bump into each other like in certain places and stuff like that, like parties or events and shit like that. And you know what I'm saying? One thing led to another. Okay. They respect the crowd, so. Now, you got, you got a lot of love from the hood. And I see a lot of people backing Ready Rock Inc. Like you said, your boy Hungry, we got DM here. So how important is that? Because with a lot of groups, a lot of people seem to break away for whatever reason. Could be money, could be jealousy. One's getting more shine than the other. How do y'all keep it together and, and it's all love? How do you get that going? Because a lot of people are breaking up over all kind of silliness. I mean, well, all of us, we knew each other before this rap shit. We yeah. gonna know each other after that. So okay. That's pretty much, the, it starts from there. It's like family oriented type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So once you got that, it's like, there's no jealousy. You know what I mean? So that's it, really. Just family oriented type shit. Okay, now what singles do you have out? Cause I heard a couple of songs up on uh, No, 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 no. I heard on the Ready Rock Inc. Uh, news. Yeah. Um, we got, um, well, we got the coasting joint, um, that was out, that was getting spins on Power 105. We got the AM to the PM, that's also getting spins on Power 105 and, um, the Damn My Life joint, so, those are three joints that's off the, um, Life and Times of Ready Rock Inc. album that you're gonna see. Oh, okay, cool. Now, you said they playing on Power 105, that's a major look yeah, right there. Yeah, my nigga Marley Mar too. He ain't even on there no more, man. It was Word. a lot of that's bullshit crazy. that Marley happened, Marley man. Like, <laughs> like, that's a veteran in the game, Marley Mar. No, like, I know. Marley, Marley started playing our, our shit, and like, what's good, it's my nigga. What's good, my nigga? What's up, what up? 
Yeah, that's my nigga, that's my young nigga. star. Free that out. <laughs> you already know, free that out. Click clock game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is entertainment. I don't... See, that's love. That's, that's right love. <laughs> yeah, but um, we had submitted the um the track tomorrow. It was like February 2009. So it was getting spent from February 2009 all the way to like it was July, right? So it was like what? July. Five, six months. But then it's like he had got slack for playing our music. You know what I'm saying? So Molly Mall got slapped. Yeah, he not even on Power 105 no more because of that. Because of y'all? Yeah, yeah. See, that's see? That's yeah, gossip. We yeah, need this. Yeah, Why? Yeah, yeah. Because it was like the the pro it's like the program directors was trying to tell him like, you know, you gotta have that major, that major, that major back end, and then we like, we got our own company, it's official, but we we unsigned. You know right. What I'm so it's like they like who are these who are these dudes is getting all this airplay. Wow. You know so Molly Ma was showing y'all major love. Yeah. And the big dogs were not trying to hear that. Right. 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 So, wow. Yeah. Anyway. Now, how did y'all get up with Molly Ma? Cause that's pretty interesting. Like you said, he is a veteran in the yeah. game, and that's. It was. It was this yo. You know what I'm saying? He just sung the track into him, and he felt it. Like well, there's a lot of these people don't show. Recognition and show good music and right. Ready Rock King, those are my niggas, they put out good music. You know right. what I'm saying? Such as my people, authentic, yeah, they got so good music. Too. A lot of people make good music and they don't support. Right. And that comes with favoritism and it shouldn't be like that. I feel right. like the Ready Rock Gangs, you know what I'm saying, authentic, a lot of other people that's doing their thing should get that right, you know, respect and recognition, but it's a lot of favoritism and politics in this game, so that's how it works. Yeah. So that's what happened with the Molly Mall situation he with my dude. A, he, basically what it was, you know? it, it wasn't no fake shit. He was just letting the people choose and request the song and he played it you know what I mean? okay so they were choosing you right we had we was in like what you call like the um future flavors battle oh it's like, you know what i'm saying you go up against a lot of um unsigned artists from um from new york city area or whatever and whoever got the better song is guaranteed airplay okay so he was winning from like february all the way to like july you know what i'm saying but then when it was time to put us in the rotation Mm. The program director was like, wait, hold up, you know what I'm saying? We ain't familiar with these dudes and where they came from. Like how like how they even get this far on the radio, like, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't no payola, none of that. Wow, shit. it was kinda hating. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Wow, that's crazy. Just let people know real quick where we are. Cause you know we got the projects in the background. That's CV over there. That's CV Towers the right there. Over there. over there. And, and what park is this where we at? Bagewater Park. Bagewater? Yeah. You know, they got the little Labor Day thing going on. The little cookout, Labor Day and all that, holiday barbecue. Yeah. They trying to fix the hood up. So we in Far Rock for real. Just to let you know, Hip Hop Gossip site, stay in the streets. Oh yeah. <laughs> We go wherever the people, people call us. People don't come out here though. A lot of people don't really come out here and shit. Let them know I come out wherever. Out? Yeah, I out go there. to Atlanta in the hood of Florida to trap. You know why she come out wherever? Because she's on the grind. She want to be successful. A lot of people that stay in local local situations are not going to be successful. You got to go around. That's right. You can't stay local. Can't stay local. Got to be mobile. A local buzz, a local buzz ain't going to cut it. You got to be around to know certain other people to get connected with other people. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So now, 